back guys, Tactical Production 7, back with another Minecraft tutorial, I'm Rainmaker, here to serve it up for you guys. So as you know, Minecraft has reached all the way to 1.9, so we're gonna get you guys started with the basics. I'm gonna show you how to allocate more RAM to Minecraft, make it run smoother, and I'll show you how to install Forge, which is like the main building block for adding tons of mods to your game, yeah? So first thing you wanna do, you wanna get this file right here, I'll put a link in the description to help you guys find the right one and when you got it downloaded all you have to do is double click it you hit run and you want to make sure that install client is checked off and you want to make sure that this pathway right here coincides with where you keep your .minecraft folder inside your roaming files alright you want to go ahead and hit OK and it'll download the libraries and do its thing and while this is working, I want to tell you guys about next time. I'm going to be be showing you how to install Light Loader to, and run it alongside with Forge. So you'll have more mods to choose from, more possibilities, yeah? More fun. Let's see, it's getting done right now. Here we go. Alright, successfully installed Client Profile Forge for version Forge. A lot of numbers <laughs> and we're good hit OK now you want to start your game up and let's see about this yes we want to choose the forge profile right here where it says profile you want to edit profile you want to enable JW JVM arguments remove everything but this last part right here and you want to allocate about four gigs of RAM if you have that much if you're uncertain about your amount of RAM, you can check that out by right-clicking My Computer, hitting Properties, and it'll show up right here. Then you want to just go ahead and hit Play. It'll download and load up and stuff. Let's wait for that to happen. There we go. And now a lot of new stuff is going to go on. But don't worry, this is all normal. Your Minecraft will work. There we go. And it's done. If you go ahead and click mods, you'll see Forge Mod Loader is active. It's all ready to go. Alright. I hope this has been helpful. And I thank you all for watching. And I will see you next time.